I love this top because you've got the kind of base of the really buttery, creamy leeks. There's a bit of milk, a bit of double cream in there. It is Christmas after all. Mm. Um, the black garlic, which gives it that lovely kind of intense treacly kind of flavour. And you just get those little pops of it throughout. So it's a kind of surprise and a bit of an interruption. Then on the top, you've got the squash, which kind of brings it all together. It's that sweetness. You've got all these really kind of verdant, crispy herbs, which again yeah. add like a nice flavour, but pops of texture as well. Mmm. Well, this pastry is amazing. Oh, thank you. It's really lovely. Mm. Tell me again how you make that. So it's walnuts and... It's, it's walnuts and thyme that you blitz up in a food processor mm. and then you add the flour as you would mm -hmm. a normal pastry. And I just like it because without it being a complicated recipe, yeah. the walnuts give it this real kind of shortness and butteriness that... Um, it really does. Yeah. It really does. And also it's just so much tastier than normal pastry. This is my pudding. And it is a chocolate pear and almond galette. I actually think these relaxed kind of tarts look much more beautiful than the yeah. posh ones anyway. So I love a galette because it's very quick and easy to whip mm. up and uses mostly store curb ingredients and seasonal fruit. The base is made using flour and sugar and dairy-free butter. And then I've put a frangipani base on there made using almonds and sugar and chocolate that's melted into it to give it that richness. Delicious. And that then sets up these gorgeous pears. They just look really beautiful, but sort of soften and sweeten mm. and go so well with chocolate and almonds. You can put this together in about 10 minutes and it takes about 30 minutes mm. in the oven. Mm. It's a winner. Oh, thank you. Yeah.